it. I forgot to do it in the video earlier. I already did the video. What I you need to have uh, VRC Fury installed through VCC, and I prefer to do it that way because it's easier to update. I forgot to mention in there. Then also the other thing I forgot to mention is you can actually uh, I actually updated the drinkable objects to actually just be a simple drop in using VRC Fury too. So now you can just simply drag it to the um, prop you need, and then drag it where it is on the hand, left to right, and it should work. Other than that, I'm going to see the video, video start. Welcome, guys. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to install this stuff. First thing you need to make sure you have, make sure you have Unity 2022 3.6 F1. I, you can use 2019. It should work also, but uh, I'd like to keep up to date. So as far as I've seen, this still, should still work too. Next thing you need to have is VRC Fury. Yes, everyone's been telling me to use this, and I finally have it for everyone to set up. And then finally, you're going to need... So now, this time, when you install Poyomi, install it using the VCC. Because this will keep you up to date on all the shaders when things change, and it'll keep everyone on the same page. So if you, the links are in the description for everything I'm talking about right now. Well, it should help you to quickly click on these and get to them. And then this is the uh, Unity Animation Hierarchy Editor. Now with VRC Fury, you technically don't need this really as much, but there are circumstances where you might, might need to uh, use this. So I'm just still providing it, but it's not mandatory on this one. And then also make sure you have the Creative Companion. There's links for this down, down in the description too. And then we're gonna get started. So af after you download VCC, you wanna go over here, create a new project, and then select 2022 for avatars. Then after that, you want to go back, and I, I just named mine like t underscore tut for now. So just go to manage project on the right side after you create it, and you want to like basically select everything you can, and install it. And I'm going to quickly update my VRC Fury. There we go. So install everything that's on the, on this page you can. The only, the only thing you might not want to install maybe is AV3 emulator. But uh, you should you should be good. I think someone was saying there's like a bug with it, but I think they have already resolved the bug that that, that, was, that was happening. Something to do with the time package or whatever. Other than that, should be good though. So after you load your scene up, let me get a sec for this to load up real quick. Okay. So make sure this is humanoid. Follow your instructions that you need to this, get your model set up in a certain, you know, to the state, this this type of type of state where it's ready to upload. So I'm going to make sure I have an avatar descriptor on this real quick. There we go. So after that, you go to prefabs and you have multiple options here. So you have the SFW one and SFW one. So I'm just going to use this one for now. You want to pick the one you want, drag it onto your model, and then... I have already set everything up a little bit to be a little bit more organized, but w one thing you need to do after this, you drag your model, open it up, and you want to move things in spots, in the spot you want it to be. So select the watch, move it in the, sp the spot it needs to go in, select the book, and I'm going to rotate this like this so. And if you're left-handed or right-handed, you will have to change this. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Make sure your hand, your hand is not going to be covering near the button because you need to be able to press that for the uh, mini game. But after that, if you need to change the hand to a different, a different position like on the other side, just select book, then hit edit and prefab over here. And then you can just change where it says left hand to be right hand instead. And then there's an arrow back here on the upper, upper left that can take you back. And then next thing you want to do, make sure this is scaled right. So open this up. There's two different ways you can scale this, but I have provided options in here, except for the blend shape. So you can just increase the height, width to your 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 liking, and stuff like that. And also you can change the color too. So if you don't like blue, just go in here, just change the color to like you can do red, orange, doesn't matter what. What you can do pink, purple, and then the next thing you want to do. Make sure the the contact here. You might want to increase this up to like five, maybe, or sorry, let's do like two, th three, three, five, maybe, or two, five, and you can increase the radius a little bit. Depending on the, how big you make it, you want this to be somewhat reasonable to cover cover everything. Then the next thing you want to check out 
these left and right targets. So the, these determine how the uh, sides are when it comes down. I'm just going to disable this real quick so I can see this. Don't forget to re-enable that if you do do disable that. So if I select the uh, the object, I left the animator on here for a reason. So if you go to animations with the animator on here, you can actually select, do down, pull down, and hit preview. And you're going to notice right here. So these right here determine how these are pulled. And how high up in they are is also important because the uh, contacts, if I can get to them real quick, right here you see these blue contacts. So wherever your hand, you want to put it in this position where your hand can comfortably get to it, it'll be based on your model and for you. So if, if it's too far down, just select these two and just drag them up. You know, probably want to do something like this, honestly, because I think this is a little bit easier to, to grab these, these uh, contacts. They need to touch your hand. And then they'll uh, snap back up. If not, you don't like. If it's not working function, functioning well, you actually just go into the menu and just hit the toggle off the uh, changing options, and it'll automatically snap it back for you. And then now, you want to go open up the main, go to mouse, and I already have this set up to snap to your head. But so all you really should need to do for this. It's just uh, move this in the proper position. So I'm gonna move it close to what I want. Then go into these contacts, and then you want to add like normally I add a zero to this, and I notice it seems to be close to what I want half the time. Let's do 0.5 on that. Uh, point, point two. It, now the, for the face food one right here, you can actually delete this if you want to, because as of right now there, there's nothing for it. But as, as it was a placeholder for if I do add anything later on. And then for this one, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to make this smaller. Make this. Uh, I want to put this like in your mouth, sort of, a, sort of deal on this one. 0 0.01. Uh, let's do negative. Add a two, three. And then just copy your stuff over for this one. 0 0.06. What was the radius? 0 0.05. So add zero to it. And this should be proper. Now let's see. The next thing you want to do, similar to the previous product, make sure that the the comp components down here are are you want to scale this up or not scale it up, drag it up till it's like somewhat halfway in your foot or close. You don't, don't raise it too high, but you want to have it enough to where if you step into this contact, it will actually trigger the sound effect. And real quick, before I forget, let me hit preview to unpre unpreview that real quick. There we go. The next thing, so uh, actually after that, you're pretty much already good. The only thing you need to do, so if you have a different, so if your model, if you go over here, and you want to change the model to a different setup, you can go over here and just, you know, so let's say I'm using Manuka, and it looks like this. Well, it's going to, by default, use these options up here, and these might not work for your model well. So what you can do is if you select this, you can go over to... So I'm going to go to uh, uh, Mega. And if I hit Preview, you'll see it's doing the uh, the uh, default Mega. You might not want that. So what you can do is you hit Record, select it in the high grade to the left, then go over to the right, drag this one to zero, then go all the way down, and then you want to drag the one that says Double M to the, up to the top. So this is the one that's supposed to be used for this uh, blend shape. Then after you do that, to make it easier in your life, Control C, select new Control C, hit on hit the record to stop recording, go to the base, paste it with Control V, zero, and then you, so, so base all everything in base should be zero, and anything that's in the other one should be a hundred. Uh, the only s s scenario where that that should not be a hundred is going to be in sub right here. So for sub, you do the same exact thing, but this one, you hit record. Select it again, drag this down to zero, and I'm gonna go down all the way to the bottom. And set it, so you can drag this to 100 if you want to, but you can type it in. You want to do 50 on this. I did this way instead, instead of making a separate blend, blend shape. This, uh, in my opinion, works a little bit better and makes it more subtle still. See, achieving the same effect. And if this is too much for you, you also tone this down too, so you can just actually make that like, like, 
know, 0.5 if you want to. If you want to like make it a little bit more faint. Or you can just do like, I'm going to leave it on one for now though. I'm going to select this, control C, stop recording. Then hit using my arrow key, press down. Select this one, control V again, and then do zero for the base. Then you should have to do that for, I think six things. Not, it's not too many things. I know it's a lot, it looks like it's a lot, but actually it's like, so for these two, you're doing like one, two, you're copying, pasting for two things here, two things here, and then you're just pasting for three things down here. Because all these, all the ones down here are using this, except for like soak and this one and that one, they're all using the same uh, blend shape. So you can just paste that. And after that, you should pretty much be done. If you run into any issues, just contact me on my Discord. And don't be afraid to, like, you know, put any uh, suggestions in there or any bugs in there, anything in there. And I can get that actually fixed for you.